All right, this is, remember last time, this is a near mirror in the main deck. 59 cards shared between the two of them, but they both go different directions when it comes to the sideboard. Game one, though, we have the same tools. The creatures are important, getting landing kill spells on them. It seems like the guy who gets to have the first creature survive frequently wins the game. Well, it'll be Jory White who starts things off. He's got a mountain. And he's got a Lightning Berserker. We're underway here in the semifinals for Milwaukee. Some agreement here. Both, both times, Jory chooses to play and Jasper chooses to draw here. So we'll see Jory on the play every game. Yep. Zergo Bell Striker now here from Jasper. A Mountain, a Wild Slash will clear out Zergo. Berserker's going to come across for at least one, and it'll only be one, which means Jory likely has a play to follow up with. Another one drop. Remember, name of the game is it can you get a creature to stick? Jory with a second lightning berserker. He has three in the deck. That's a card that gets certainly gets worse in multiples. But if we go to Jasper's side, there's some concerning news. Do we not have a second land, Jasper? Yes. Jasper. Oh, Jasper. And that's just gonna be a tough. Just a swift spear. And I do see why he wanted to keep it. It looks like he has a lightning strike, a searing blood, Eidolon, multiple exquisite firecrafts. Searing blood may be one of the best cards in this matchup. Well, one drops will trade. Looks like one damage will come through. See what White's follow-up is. Yeah, and we have seen this before when Jasper's played Mono Red Mirrors. He's been stuck on lands frequently, and really it hasn't punished him too hard. Well, did he find one this time? Looks like the answer is no. So we're going to head back White's way. He's got a Zergo. He's got a Lightning Berserker. He's got some mana to dump into the Berserker. His draw is Abbot of Carol Keep. He can go fishing for a land. Let's see if he's able to find it. Nope, Searing Blood. That'll be exiled. No chance to cast that. Nothing to even cast it on. There's a mountain. This will be a healthy amount of damage. Let's make it four. Jasper will fall down to 14. Yeah, and even though Abbott was nothing more than a 2-1, that's going to be good enough here. Jasper down so many cards. Or down so many creatures. He hasn't answered. There's three of them that he hasn't answered. I said before, the first player to land an unanswered creature is a heavy favorite. And that's going to be Jory's. He looks to run away with game one. Yeah, he's got three unanswered creatures right now. Now, Jasper did draw a second land finally. The question for him, because he's got the Searing Blood, is what am I supposed to kill? Am I supposed to kill Lightning Berserker, Abbott, or Zergo? It's interesting. I mean, he may just want to wait, see how much mana Jory pumps into Lightning Berserker, and that will influence his decision. The downside is that if he waits here, Jory could double prowess something like Abbott of Kiro Keep. There's a mountain. So if Jory attacks and just has, has no pumps, no anything, go to damage, then the card, then Jasper has to Searing Blood Zergo, Zergo Bell Striker, which is arguably the worst of the three creatures here. There's one pump. Looks like he's not willing to move past that. Doesn't have to go too much farther. His cards are Stoke and Lightning Strike, so he has seven points of burn. Well, he is going to pump again. Now, here's a Searing Blood. That's going to take care of the Lightning Berserker. Lightning Strike's going to go upstairs. You'll get a Prowess Trigger on Abbott, and then two damage will come across from Zergo. So yeah. a pretty healthy hit there. Jasper's going to be down to six, and there's a four-point bird spell in Jory's hand. Both his creatures deal two. Jasper found his land, but I believe it's going to be too late. He's going to take two off an attack here, and the Stoke the Flames should seal the game for Jory. Abbott will hit a Mountain, and now there's a follow-up in Swift Spear. So there are two blockers out there. All right, well, that's a start. Now, J Jory's draws will have to be truly horrific to lose this game because he's so far ahead right now. Talk to me mountains. Yeah, quite a few of just, those. Just <laughs> a big stack of mountains. Yep. And that seems rather unlikely, but Jasper can't control that. All he can do is try to play the best of his ability right now, and we know he's a virtual two. There's Swift Spear. We'll see how, how Jory wants to attack. I like leaving back Abbott here, actually. This is a great attack. Nothing can really trade with the Swiss Spear. This means Jory will just get to use Stoke the Flames to eat a creature. Yeah, and Swiss Spear is going to eat a creature. Stoke's going to go upstairs. Jasper already knows what's going to happen. All he can do is shrug the shoulders and hope he doesn't have it, but very clear that he does. So Zergo's going to bite the dust. Jasper's down at two. And Jory does have two creatures on the battlefield. Jasper will draw a card. Does he have outs here in this situation? Well, he needs to do something like draw Abbott, play Abbott into Wild Slash, and then dodge a draw from Jory. Okay. And that's the start. Well, he can Exquisite Firecraft the Abbott. And Come on, Mountain. Yeah. Hope, hope to only take <laughs> one. Did he uh, get it? I think he did. Yep. All right. Hanging on. Outs. We're playing to our outs. 
regardless of how slim they are. And they are slim. Look, he could, in, in theory, Jory could draw eight straight mountains. I said if he drew a pile of mountains, yep. yeah, Jasper's got a chance. And there's just a, a lot strike. of them. Oh, no, not, Whoa. not this Whoa, again. Wait, 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 wait. Not this idol on again. We wait, saw Jasper. Jasper. We saw now, Jasper do this last now he time. Liter now, what is this? Now Jory literally has to draw eight running mountains. I'm, we should talk about some math here. All right, well, okay. Uh, he's, he's, no, no, the odds that he, okay, let's talk about the odds that he draws eight running mountains. Okay, Jasper has a stoke. That helps. But, like, now it's only six running mountains. That minus two on it. But Look, he's drawing a lot of mountains. What's this one? Oh, not Eidolon. a mountain. Oh, Eidolon. Okay, well, do you want to cast that and take two? Go seven. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, look at you, professional red player here in the booth. <laughs> Excuse us. Any card. Any card is fine. Sure. Now Jasper's really never casting things. He can't attack anymore because you'll hit him back and kill him. Does he have another Stoke? All right, if he has another Stoke and then draws another Stoke. All right, he's all a right, three. Right, he's a three. Well, no, now Jory's locked as well. Oh, this is awesome. Well, but, well, it, it's separate, though, because Jory can make them trade. If Jory draws a spell, he swings. Jasper has to block. Jory plays the spell, wins game. And then Jasper can respond by lightning striking him to kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what have we done? Maybe we're not supposed to play the second Eidolon. Jory draws the lightning strike, but now it doesn't work. Yeah. We are no, in. This is, okay, I, 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 I stand corrected. No, we don't jam second Eidolon. I take it back. You are so excited, professional red mage Matthias This is why Hunt. we play blue cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <You laughs> These decisions are confusing. They look so straightforward on the surface, but then you lose because of them. So, Jory can't play a spell, Jasper can't play a spell, unless they're stoked the flames. No, you're right. So, Jory swings. If they trade, then, then no one can play anything. Yeah. Oh, this is horrible. There are other... Th so, there is another four mana spell that Jasper can draw. Wait, hold on. No, okay, so he could hard cat... Wait. He could dash a heel cutter, and that cost four. It's no. converted mana cost is four. All right, I got what it's going to come down to, I think. Now I might just be wrong here. But if you stockpile on lands and lots of cheap burn spells, you can get a spot where Jory attacks, they trade, and then we get this big stack of lethal burn spells, and we see who can play more off the mana they have up. That's Never can play more gets there. Correct. That's kind of the out in the situation outside of a four mana spell. Well, and the fact that Jory has seven lands to Jasper's four, actually, there's two reasons this favors Jory. One, he has seven to four. Two, Jory gets to decide when this fight starts. Yep. So he could actually just sit here for a really long time and just stockpile cheap burn. All right, Eidolons are gone. Jory has two burn spells. He has Wild Slash and Lightning Strike in hand. And he's just going to pass the turn. He's not making a move. Jasper's not making a move. That <laughs> land, that land was super important. I would not make a move. Yeah. And I don't... Is Jasper just going to go for it right now? Well, he can't, though. So Jasper starting this doesn't work because now he's going to lose it. Like, sure, you can Wild Slash. Jory's at one. Wild Slash you. I'm surprised he let off. Yeah, I, I, I'm i very surprised Jasper started, picked yeah, the fight at the end I'm there. I'm very surprised he let off because I don't think Jory would attack unless he actually was like, I have two burn spells. I, like, I don't think he's willing to trade Eidolons at that point unless Jory is confident that his hand is going to win in the game. So I'm very surprised that Jasper let off with Exquisite Firecraft yeah. in that situation. We could have just had a steering contest for a really long time, Right, actually. I mean, well, the fact that Jory's at three and not two means that all Jory really has to fear is if Jasper has double lightning strikes. You know, those wild slashes actually don't count unless Jasper starts getting two of them. Yeah. But a really interesting board state. Jory ends up getting it, and he definitely was ahead there. I don't know if this was played perfectly on either side, because um, it's really complicated. This is why these monitor mirrors are actually really exciting to watch, is because th there's tons of decisions going on. No, there's a lot more to yeah, than one thinks. Right. You think, oh, yeah, I just jam my cards, and then wait, 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 hold on. And then it all changes. To the sideboards, we're gonna, to the sideboards we're going to go. We'll take a look here. Jasper, uh, well, he has a decision on if he wants to go first or not. He's got Chandra Power Master, two Goblin Heal Cutters, two Magma Sprays, a Molten Vortex, an Outpost Siege, four copies of Rose, two Smash Smithereens, and then two copies of Thunderbreak Regent. All right, well, we've seen Jasper play this one all weekend. He's going to pick to draw, board in Thunderbreak Regent, Molten Vortex, Magma Sprays, Chandra, and maybe even some copies of Rose just to take care of creatures. He's going to be, a con be the, as much as he can, the red control deck in the matchup. Other side of things here for Jory, he's got an Arc Lightning, two heal cutters of his own, two Magma Sprays, two Outpost Siege, four Rose, three Scav Clan Berserker, and a Smash the Smithereens. But he also knows that Jasper is going to draw first and move into a bigger plan. So how do you think that influences things? Well, it's interesting. The first time they played, Jory also tried to assume the control role. He definitely, 
you know, used his removal spells on creatures, boarded in outpost sieges, did a lot of that. But that was the first time they played each other. And now that he knows what's up, he might go for a different plan against Jasper. That said, if you look at this match and last time, Jory's up three games to zero on Jasper. So why change a good thing? He may just try to encore their match in the Swiss. All right, well, we're going to see how both players like to sideboard, and we will find out soon enough if Jasper chooses to play or draw. He might mix it up a little bit, but in the meantime, we will discuss that Season 4 schedule here on the Open Series where we kick things off in Cincinnati with Todd Anderson getting a W with Infect. Then we went to Worcester where we saw Esper Dragons win, and maybe that's the reason that Blue-White Control is doing so well here in Milwaukee. Two weeks from now, we're going to Indianapolis for the Battle for Zendikar release on the Open Series. We're looking forward to all the BFC action taking place in Indy. After that, we're going to Atlanta for a standard open, St. Louis for Legacy, Dallas for Modern on Halloween weekend. I'll be joined by Jerry Thompson, his return to the booth, and then we'll have standard action in Philadelphia. After that, we've got, of course, the Grand Prix in Atlanta, starcitygames.com slash GP Atlanta for all information about that. An open series in Kansas City, one in New Jersey, our return to Denver December 5th through the 6th, and then the two big events, Season 4 Invitational, which will be standard and modern, and then a standard open series taking place December 11th through the 13th, and then the Players' Championship at the Star City Games Center in Rhode Virginia, December 19th through the 20th, 16 players, $50,000. And we'll see if Brad Nelson can defend his title and be the player's champion on the Open Series once again. Last but certainly not least, for all the main events on the Open Series, you'll get the Hop and Rabbit Master playmat for signing up. No real details here. You sign up, you get one of, these, one of these things. You won't get it after the fact. We don't run out. You come, you get one until December 5th at our Open in Denver. So hopefully we'll see you guys at any and all of those dates as we get ready here for game number two between Jasper and Jory. Red, red, red all day long. They're probably on turn number four in the control matchup, I imagine. There's a lot of decisions on turn four. <laughs> in you know. both matchups. <laughs> no, this red, I mean, the one thing we've learned this weekend, we've watched Jasper play a lot of mono red aggro mirrors. These things are difficult. The decision trees are wide and they're very punishing. It's been some exciting magic when watching these red decks go at it. And I mean, as we get toward the end of the format, I don't, you know, it's a pretty fitting, fitting farewell to this, you know, mono red winning the, the last two pro tours, maybe taking down this open as well. Yeah. This deck's just been good. No, it's a good deck. It really, really is. There are a couple of different ways you can go about building it. There's a couple of different ways you can go about sideboarding, play style as well. You see that Jasper likes to take a more controlling role. Not the first time we've seen him keep a one-lander with the deck either, thinking that he'll be able to draw out of it, and he almost did there. And we questioned his decision to cast the Eidolon, but it almost won him the game. So I'm interested to see if he will play or draw first here for game number two. Got no idea what to expect. That'll be interesting. Yeah, last time they played, as I mentioned before, both, both went bigger. Jasper took the draw. Did not get there. Thunderbreak Regent was great, but Jasper was far enough behind that Jory was actually able to throw Wild Slash Searing Blood into the Thunderbreak Regent, take six, and continue on beating. But that's a hefty price. If you're thinking that's what it takes to get rid of Thunderbreak, that card's amazing. No, and, the, and this matchup, and Jasper, we talked to him about it over the course of this week about how he felt about Thunderbreak Regent on the sideboard. He said it's fantastic, especially in the Red Mirrors. He loves this sideboard plan. We haven't seen Outpost Seed show up for him just yet. We haven't seen Chantry yet either. Both those cards are quite powerful in the Red Mirror as well. So we'll see if either one of those shows up in this game. And more importantly, we'll find out if Jasper is playing or drawing in this situation. Yeah, no great answers to it. You can't, I mean, you can't really heal Cutter Pass to Thunderbreak Regent. I guess the cleanest answer is Stoke the Flames. But that's, as we've seen with all these Eidolons in play, Stoke the Flames is a valuable commodity in the mirror. Yeah, it's pretty valuable to just go upstairs with. Jasper is electing to draw yet again. He wants the extra card. He, want to, he wants to make this game about trading a bunch. In practice, that's what he saw, thought the way, the way the matchup would go. Extra cards and a control strategy. He's done it all weekend. Not surprised that he's not switching plans. It's been effective for him all weekend long. This is one of his few losses here this weekend. Yeah, remember, Jasper was 9-0 yesterday. It was 3-3 today. Had some stumbles, losing to Jory White, Tyler Wynn, Picked up another one along the way. Ended up being X3-1 to make top eight. Let's see what Jory thinks about his opening hand since he will be on the play. Looks like he's going to keep. Legacy players, that is time for the final before, Jasper also has not shied away from land light hands. But if you believe this matchup's all about trading, that much at least makes sense. Yep. Jasper will draw. A mountain and a pass. Jory with what looks like another Zergo. Yeah, and Jasper's going to wait until combat to kill this Zergo in case Jory has a second Zergo that he would hope to dash. There's a Swift Spear. 
It's not like he's playing around Titan strengths or anything like that. No, especially when you have access to the deck list, you know you don't have to even worry about it. Wild Slash will take care of Zergo. Swiss Bureau come across here for one. Jasper will fall down to 19. This is the game plan Jasper wants. Trade hit, trade kill spells with creatures. And if Jory doesn't want to play that, that kind of game plan, triple one dropping is where he wants to be as well. A mountain. And if he has a Searing Blood, Jasper may just cash it in on the Swift Spear while Jory's shields are down. Looks like he'll just pass the turn back instead. So White will take a draw step here. Picked up a mountain. Has an Abbot, a Lightning Berserker in hand. Yeah, looks like multiple Lightning Strikes in Jasper's hand. So he's just going to try this card parody game for a while. Lightning Strike will go after the Swift Spear. It, it, it's pretty low risk, honestly. Jory would have to have two Wild Slashes to punish him. Yeah, and I mean, if he's going to make that play, I am somewhat surprised he didn't go just do it while Jory was tapped down. It's time for Abbott. Take a look at the top card. Yeah, and that was one of the great weapons we saw on Jory's side was that game two, the last time he played, he had multiple Abbots of Carol Keep. That card seemed very important for the mirror. It's a source of, if it's an attrition fight, as Jasper expects it to be, at Abbott's great. We saw it, it was frequently a two for one, finding lands and removal spells. Source card advantage. That's what you're looking for, because that's what Jasper's trying to do, is build card advantage. Right, which is actually interesting here, because what Jory's... Jory got card advantage off that Abbott, but it was only a wild slash to the face. And because Jasper's not deploying creatures onto the board, that was only kind of a... not really a two-for-one. I mean, ideally, Jory would have played Abbott, flipped wild slash, and killed a creature with it. That's just a two-for-one. Yeah. Two damage is relevant, but I think Jasper rewarded for actually not playing any creatures. How about another Abbott here for Jory? These are excellent. Lightning Strike. Does he have the land? He yes, does. he does. Last card in hand with that land as a Lightning Berserker. But this is how Jasper drew it up. He wants to get into these attrition fights. Look at the number of cards in each player's hand. Yes, Jasper's low on life points, but not that low. And he's got a lot of cards in hand. Zergo can't do any blocking. No, Zergo is weak with Jasper's strategy. And actually, he's down to 10. He's, once again, multiple Abbots. It's really hurting his plan. Sure he's gotten a free removal spell and a free wild slash off those abbots. Jasper has to face down three attackers. Well, Zergo's going to come into the red zone because, well, why not? So White will go down to 18. I do think it's interesting if this is the plan that Jasper's on, that Zergo Bell Striker is still in the deck because of its inability to block. If you want to, on a card advantage game plan, you don't want to play any cards that your opponent can ignore. And right now, that's exactly what Jordy, Jory's doing to this Zergo. Yeah, it doesn't care about it very much at all. Not killing it, not blocking it. Here's Lightning Berserker. Jasper cannot seem to get a win in this matchup. Jory taking the game ones. He's abiding his way to wins in games twos. He may be going on to the finals. Presenting nine points of damage right now, which is not lethal, but it's pretty close to it. Yeah. Jasper's going to need multiple spells here. Mo yeah, multiple kills. Well, a Stoke's not good enough. No, 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 no. Stoke is going to go after Lightning Berserker. Yeah. And, and Wild Slash is more than enough to get it done. Two plus two is four, and then you've got two prowess triggers on the Abbots. That's ten exactly, and Jory White is going to win this match here over Jasper Johnson Epstein. Two games to zero. Mono Red Agromir goes to Jory yet again. Jasper cannot get revenge for Jory. He's going to move on to the finals. And I think really hope that Sam Bratz does win because I think he likes his matchup there. And I cannot imagine that he likes his matchup against Blue White Control. Yeah, so for Jory White, congratulations. Another 2 0 victory. He has not dropped a game yet in the top eight. Was one of the top two seeds to enter the tournament when X2 was able to draw in. He has been on fire today.